What is good? It's your boy Wolf of Brooklyn X and we coming back to you with another video on how everything's been um, since orientation. We're going to talk about training, what account I'm on, pay, and you know, a little bit of my thoughts on Werner and everything about trucking pretty much. So after my last video, the orientation video, like... I was with a trainer on the road for like 23 days, I'll say. It was smooth. Yes, I went over the road. Um, pretty much, I saw the whole country. That was cool. Um, no, is it fun being with a trainer? Absolutely not, but training is not supposed to be fun. It's a time where you have to start molding yourself for when you're gonna be out there on the road alone or with a team partner or whatever your situation may be. It's training. It's not. There's nothing fun about it. You're gonna learn, you're gonna be in different situations, driving in mountains, 6%, uh, 10% downgrades, crazy traffic, different type of scenarios. So, that's what training is. Um, I know I told you I was gonna do team driving, but I didn't end up doing team driving because my partner ended up on Dollar Tree account. He called me and let me know like, yo, I'm gonna do Dollar Tree account. So that same day I went on the Werner app and I know they tell you that you can't switch accounts after you have to wait 90 days to switch accounts. Not necessarily true. You can go on the Werner app, go to career opportunities, and you're gonna see all the different accounts you could apply for. So that same day, I also applied for the Dollar Tree account because I mean, I, I wanna be solo at the end of the day. So I applied and they literally called me back the next day. Not saying that's gonna happen with you, but my luck went like that. So they called me back the next day and um, this was while I was waiting for a trainer at the hotel. And they was like, when you're done with training, you're gonna start on the Dollar Tree Northeastern Flex account, keyword Flex account. We'll get back to that. Um, and they started me off at 79 cents, which is pretty good. And $300 to unload when you touch and freight. So yeah, so training was good. My trainer was up, you know, he was decent. He taught me, he did his job. Did we bump heads? Yeah, here and there. I mean, you with another man in a, in a truck, you know? So eventually y'all gonna bump heads about something, but it wasn't that serious, you know? At the end of the day, he did his job. I did mine, completed that, got that out the way um, and learned a lot. Um, now let's talk about this account. So when I first got into this account, I'm thinking I'm just gonna do Dollar Tree because it's called Dollar Tree North Eastern Flex account. So I'm thinking it's all Dollar Tree, but that's not true. The key word here is the flex. So the first time I went, I was doing Dollar Tree, but you know, I was a little confused because my manager was like, yeah, you have to give back your equipment. I was like, okay, maybe uh, maybe after my home time, I'm gonna go pick up other equipment. No, after my home time, I came back, they had me doing Dollar General. I was like, okay. Now, after that home time, I came back and now I'm doing Best Buy, but I'm not touching freight, but I'm still getting paid those 79 cents per mile. So that's good. I'm still like, I'm averaging, with this account, I'm averaging, no lie, 1,400 to 2,000, sometimes even a little higher, 2,200 a week. So for someone who just got their CDL, that's amazing. And remember, not every account pays the same. The reason why you getting paid 79 cents in this account is because number one, there'll be times you'll be touching freight. Number two, you're actually helping other accounts, other companies like Staples, 
Home Depot, Best Buy. You're actually helping them out with their deliveries. So we kind of like an account that helps everybody pretty much. We help Dollar Tree, we help Dollar General. We help them get the deliveries as well. So that's what we are, you know what I mean? So kind of like the saviors, you could say, in a way. But uh, yeah, man, pay's been good. And I'm pretty much making what someone with one to two years experience is making as a company driver. Um, as far as Warner and how they treated me, pretty good. My, my managers are good, you know. Of course, everybody bump heads here and there, but overall, good. Um, home time, you, could, you have two options. You could be out 18 days and stay home for five, or you could be out 24 days and stay home for six days. You don't even have to come home if you don't want to. You could just straight up be hustling, getting your money and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, another thing, it's also very flexible because you could plan ahead like, yo, I want to come home on this day, so I'm going to work these days. So, you know, maybe you got a birthday or a little family party, holidays. You could plan ahead so you could actually be there for those days, you know what I mean? Sometimes you may have to stay extra so you could be there for those days. And for me, that's cool. Cause I wouldn't, I know there's weekly accounts, which is cool and all, but staying home for like a day is not my thing. Like I really want to spend quality time. And I know some people can't really afford to miss five days. Well, you don't have to, you know what I mean? But me personally, I'm making good money to the point where it's okay to take a week off. You know what I mean? So I'm good. And I take a week off. I spend time with my family. You know, I'm married. I got kids. I like to pick them up from school, uh, drop them off school. You know, I still want to be very involved in their life. I don't want to be the dad that just, oh, you know, you see me once a week. Like, nah, man, that's too much. So that's cool. So as far as home time, that's flexible. The account is flexible. You are making good money. And um, I just got my CDL four months ago. Uh, I've been on this, I've been working for Werner and on this account for four months now. Uh, today is the ninth. So in two days on the 11th, it's gonna make four months. So everything is cool. Everything's been good. Um, I'm happy with the account. And uh, Werner's good, man. For anybody that really want to work and uh, start somewhere, it's absolutely great. Uh, there's a lot of videos of people complaining. Oh, they had me go OTR and training. Oh, I got to be on the road with a trainer for 20. Man, listen, man. You need that training, man. That, that's what y'all yeah, people don't get. A lot of people so focused on just getting a CDL and, oh, I want to make money. Oh, I want to get in a truck. Like, no, calm down, man. Because now that I look back, I mean, I had the same excitement as everybody else. I want to get my own truck. I want to be on the road already. Like, let me do this. This is what I got my CDL for. What the hell? Like, nah, man. There's a lot to trucking than just giving it. First of all, you should be happy that a company is giving you a $200,000, $300,000 dollar machine to operate in. I mean, you're new and they're trusting you. So all they want to do is really make sure that you know what you're doing. Because at the end of the day, if something happens, it's all on you. It's all on you, man. It's all on you. Ain't nobody going to back you up. No one's going to care. It's going to be all on you. Your responsibility. You, once you get that license, you are a professional driver. You should know better. So, if you, like, now, before I wanted to, like, avoid any training, I felt like it was a waste of time. Now I want all the training I could possibly get. You know what I'm saying? Because I just want to be the best driver I could be. Safe very alert well rested and on point you want to know what you're doing out there you know what i mean i'm still learning um and yeah so i you know i see a lot of cry babies man like 
to me, I, I get the vibe that a lot of these new truck drivers just don't want to work or never worked really hard a day in their life, you feel me? And they don't know what responsibility is or they don't know what it is coming from the bottom. Like maybe they were expecting like some type of handout or something like, nah, man, you, you got to work. You know what I mean? And, and if you want to make good money and you have to touch freight, for the first year, then let it be, man. But you gonna make that money, right? We here for the money, right? Like, I don't know what people want. Like, people just wanna drive five miles and make a thousand dollars a day. Like, no, man, I don't care, bro. I chase this bag at the end of the day. So that's what it is. And stability is everything. You don't wanna be one of them people that be jumping from company to company to company to company. It looks bad on your resume, you know what I'm saying? One day you might want to get a mortgage for your house. They look at they look at these things. They they want to see some type of stability. How long you been working with this company? Now, if you have five different companies in five years, they're gonna say what what, what happened? Why you? It's too many. It's too much questions. Like, why did you quit here? Okay. Why did you quit here? Okay. So this person, he's not stable. And that's not me. Like, I want to be stable. I want to be locked and loaded in one spot. And I get it. Some companies, you're just not happy there. And you have all the right to leave. But that's why you got to really look into the company and account that you're working for. So you could, you know what I mean? Stay at a spot so you don't go all over the damn place. And, um, yeah, I'm happy I got into this account, man. Because I was going to do team driving and only get paid 55 cent a mile, be with somebody in a truck, you know what I'm saying? For weeks on, like, nah, man. Now that I have my own truck, you start to realize like, it's very personal, you know what I'm saying? Like your truck becomes like your own apartment, you could say, your own home. And it's too damn small to be sharing it with somebody, so. It's better to just, you know what I mean, try to go solo. But if you have no other choice, just do it and eventually switch. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, remember, uh, that for anybody interested, this is the account that I believe is paying the most right now at Warner. And it's called the Eastern Flex account. They, all, I believe they have a Midwest Flex account, a West Flex a flex account, a South uh, flex account. So they have it for everywhere in the country, but I'm on the East Coast. So mine is the Eastern flex account. They start you off at 79 cents. Maybe in your area, they start you off a little bit higher. I don't know. But right now, from what I'm looking from other companies that require a year to two years uh, experience, they're not paying that. They're not paying that. Um, I looked at GP Transco. They require, I think, a year or two of uh, experience, and they start you off at 65. So they not even paying me what Werner's paying me right now. So what I'm and I'm about to get a raise real soon. I believe they're gonna give me a raise at the six month period. So that's gonna be 80 or plus 80 cents in not even a year at a starter company like Werner. Also, a lot of people bash Werner and this and that, but, and it's always coming from people, from companies or people that are experienced. And let me tell y'all something, man. A lot of y'all wouldn't even be truckers if it wasn't for companies like Werner that give people a chance to start somewhere. You understand? Because I get it. There's great companies with better pay. Cool. That's great, but y'all not hiring people that just got their CDL. Y'all not training people that just got their CDL. So that's cool and easy to sit there and bash people. But right now, from what I'm seeing, this account, Werner is shitting on a lot of you other companies, man. And y'all know it, 79 cent. No one's really paying that to start off. To start off, keep that in mind, to start off. So no one's really paying that. So shout out to Warner, man. You know what I mean? They actually taking care of their drivers. 
And whenever I go home and I, I don't know, maybe I need an extra day or whatever, I just feel like staying home, they don't give me a problem. They just say, hey man, let me know when you are ready. I mean, bro, what more do you want? There's no, oh, you gotta lie. Oh, my grandmother died, I can't, I can't go. You don't gotta do none of that. Just let them know, like, have communication. Everything is good. So they work with you, and you work with them. So, I mean, what else do you want, man? You just got your CDL. I'm telling y'all, y'all can get on this account and um, make good money. You might, yeah, you have to work a little bit. Come on, man. At the end of the day, it's just little boxes. It ain't nothing, you know what I mean? Definitely, you feel me? Ain't nothing. But... Like I said, I'm not doing boxes. This past month, I've just been dropping hook. And it's been lovely, man. It's been lovely, it's been lovely. Right now, I'm in uh, Wisconsin tomorrow. My truck had a little issue, so they got me in the hotel right now. But um, tomorrow, I'll be heading back to Chicago at the Best Buy DC. And back to work, you feel me? I've been out on the road for about a month, but uh, I'm trying to be home for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna do another week here and um, hey man, make it home to family and uh, have a great Thanksgiving. And I hope all y'all truck drivers out there, all my Warner drivers out there, y'all have a beautiful Thanksgiving, man. Y'all deserve it if y'all can make it. If y'all can't, it's all good, man. Continue hustling, get that money. Um, Yo, what kind of truck you got, Wolf? They gave me an International. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Oh, man. Internationals break down a lot, man. Let me tell y'all something, man. Every truck breaks down a lot, okay? I want y'all to look on the road. Next time y'all on the road, just if you could see what kind of truck it is. It, most of these trucks that I've been looking ain't even an International that be on the side of the road. They be Peterbilt's, Kenworth's, all types of uh, supposedly the best trucks be on the side of the road. So let me tell y'all something, man. Let's not create stereotypes about international. Internationals are a great truck. I know. Who wouldn't want a Peterbilt? Who, who wouldn't want a Kenworth? That, that Peterbilt was actually on my first choice. Because, you know, after training, they ask you what type of truck you would like. And of course, I didn't get the one that I wanted. Not even the second one that I wanted. <laughs> I put Peterbilt first. Kenworth, then a Fright. I didn't get none. They gave me international. Cool, not a problem. Um, so yeah, it's been good. I've been working with it four months. First time that it's in the shop, but you know, minor stuff. But it's all fixed tomorrow, back to the money. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, get y'all CDLs. I'm not here to promote Werner. I'm Warner's not telling me to make videos like this. I'm just telling y'all how I feel about it. What how my experience pretty much. Everybody got a different experience. Some people got good, some people got bad. But don't sit here. I can't sit here and allow people to talk bad about a company that I work for and they've been treating me good. You know what I'm saying? I just can't. So that's just that how that's how that goes. Um yeah, man, get y'all CDLs. There's a lot of money out here. And uh, they treating drivers good, bro. And um, I know there's a lot of old heads. Oh, y'all new drivers get paid 45 cent a mile to start. Where? This ain't the 1940s, bro. This ain't, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Y'all been driving trucks since George Washington was around, but it ain't like that no more. You know what I'm saying? The new drivers with no experience, they, they making money right now. You know why? They got a clean record. No accidents, no nothing. You clean. Like a brand new car. You know when you a brand, you know when you go get a brand new car, zero miles, and it's very expensive compared to the old car that's used up. You clean, you fresh, you very valuable, right? A clean driver could be new, whatever. A clean driver with a clean record, 
is very valuable in this industry. That's why if you trying to get your CDL and you knew, best believe you better you better get yourself on a nice account where they pay you good. Cause like I said, you clean and they will if you find it. But anyways, man, truck drivers, if you're trying to be a truck driver, don't be lazy. Get your ass to training. You need it. I don't care. Oh, my dog. Oh, my girl. My family. You're going to have to sacrifice all that for three weeks, man. You're talking to a married man with four kids. I know what it is. It is hard. I'm not going to sit here and give you the runaround and tell y'all, oh, it's easy. It's hard every time I go on the road. It's hard for me. But when I see that check, I be like, yo, you feel me? You see the purpose and you feel good about it because you know you're bringing a nice check to your family or to yourself, whatever the case may be. So get money, work hard, be happy, try to be stable and um, do your research. You know what I'm saying? Don't just listen to old heads. You know how these old heads be, man. They, they, they try to discourage you and shit and that's not cool. And shout out to, to the grown folks. There's difference between old heads and, and grown folks. The old heads, I call them old heads because they be talking. They be talking too much of uh, this. And the grown folks, they don't discourage you. They try to teach you, advise you, give you some sort of direction, encourage you. You know what I'm saying? Those are the people you want to talk to. But don't talk to them old heads that, oh... You're a new driver, you're gonna start off at 33 cent. <laughs> yeah, all right. that's that was you, boy. You started off at 33 cent. You started off at 45 cent. Me, I could sit there and say, yo, I started off at 79 cent. You know what I mean? Going on 81, 82, and so on. And uh, yeah, eventually I would love to uh, own my truck, but it's not taking so fast, man. Let, let me let me at least do my thing, learn more about this industry before taking that big step. But yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe. Werner is great. I'm great. Hope y'all great. And I hope wherever y'all decide to go, y'all be happy, man. Don't rush the situation. Look at the account. Find out how much they're paying. Talk to people. Talk to your associates. Like I said, talk to them grown folks. Don't talk to the old heads. You heard? Like, comment, subscribe. Wolf of Brooklyn, man. Keep on trucking. Be safe out there, man. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy uh, holidays. May y'all have a beautiful Christmas, New Year's. And hustle hard, you heard? Get that money.